scientists had a heck of a time getting the remarkable fossil of a dinosaur they dubbed Hellboy out of the hard limestone along a Canadian river bank where it was entombed for 68 million years, but the diabolic task proved gratifying. The horned dinosaur boasted an exotic set of facial horns and spines around the edge of the bony frill at the back of its skull. This new animal is definitely one of the weirdest horned dinosaurs, said paleontologist Gail Brown of the Royal Tyrell Museum of Paleontology in Alberta. How weird it is really only becomes fully apparent when you compare it to its close relatives, in which case it stands out like a sore thumb. Brown and his colleagues officially named the fossil Regaliceratops Peter Husey, meaning Royal Horn Face, and honoring geologist Peter Hughes, who found it. But they nicknamed it Hellboy because its stubby horns above the eyes resemble the comic book character of the same name and because of the hellish time they had getting it out of the rock. We did have an earlier politically incorrect name for it, but with great effort we managed to stop ourselves using it after a few months, Royal Tyrell Museum paleontologist Donald Henderson said. Regaliceratops, similar in size to today's largest rhinos, was estimated at 16 feet, 5 meters, long, 5 feet, 1.5 meters, tall at the hips and weighing about 1.5 tons. Think of it like a big SUV, Brown said. The fossil was found in 2005 along the Oldman River in southwestern Alberta, with the tip of the snout sticking out of the cliff. Rather than being squashed flat like many fossils, the skull was in remarkable three-dimensional preservation. Regaliceratops lived near the end of the age of dinosaurs. It possessed a large conical horn over its nose and a pair of small, forward-curving horns over its eyes that were puny compared to those of its bigger close relative, Triceratops. Seven bony spines in triangular and pentagonal shapes formed a halo around the edge of its large shield-like frill. The complete frill looks like a crown formed around the face of the animal, Brown said. Nearly the entire skull, but none of the rest of the skeleton, was found. 